Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. Another off-meta series, this time with the Leone Italian Tier 5 DD. Um, so this is a very interesting ship, and this has been coming for some time. So let's go ahead and get into the stats and the build on it, and then we'll discuss some more things when we get to the gameplay. So, for stats, uh, we're looking at... Rapid Reload and Stealthy, those both apply to the Torps. And Sluggish Shot is about the guns. For the consumables, the biggest note here is the smoke. You can use standard smoke or rolling smoke. We're going to go with the standard. For survivability, we have 13,700 hit points. And it's a DD, so just forget the armor. You have none. So, yeah, you don't want to get hit. Artillery, 120 millimeter guns. They have a super long reload. You are not going to be knife fighting. You don't want to engage with the guns with this one. Torps, this is the bread and butter. Um, very fast reload time, good range, and they don't seem coming until the last second. They are slow, though. For the AA, you have none. Just don't even plan on anything with the AA. It's, it's just not going to happen. Maneuverability, uh, it says 34 knots, but when you turn, you scrub a lot of speed, so it feels a lot slower. It does turn pretty fast. Doesn't go anywhere quick. Concealment, not very good. We're at 5.6. Um, you can get it down lower than that with a higher commander. Mine's only an 11. Um, for the first perk, we're going to use Contact is Eminent, which gives us more torpedo speed. And then for the second perk, we're going to use Look at Me Now, which is going to give us a better detectability concealment range. And then when we get to the third one, uh, we're going to run Perceptive. Uh, you could run Reload, something like that, but with how problematic this ship can be and how high skill, you want to know where things are at. And then for the last perk here, we're going to use Sidestep. Uh, biggest reason is that fire dispersion, because we're, we're going to be very defensive. And then for our legendary perk, we're going to use Unstoppable, just in case we get in trouble, somebody hits our hand, we can get out of there. Um, again, you can't really defend yourself, so you want to be able to run. So we're going to get into the gameplay now. This ship is going to take a lot of skill to play. It's it's not going to be your typical DD. You're not just going to go out there and have, you know, crazy games just because the ship is, is broken OP. There is a lot on this ship that it does not have going for it. So we are going to try to take the best advantage of what it does have going for it. What it does have going for it is those torques. The guns... The reload is too long on them. Um, they hit really hard. They're 120 millimeters, so they, they do hit hard when you hit problem is the reload is so long that by the time you have your next salvo up, you've taken tremendous amounts of damage. So with the guns, you want to literally engage as little as possible. Um, and the only time you really probably want to be using them is pure defense. Like if you're, you just have no other choice and you have to defend yourself. Or if you can sit and smoke and farm something. Uh, so with the torps, because of the fast reload, the long range, and the fact they don't see them until the last second, what we're going to be doing is, is just zone torping. Um, so you can see as I came through this first area here, I'm going to put them through that first gap. When they come back up, I'm going to put them through that second gap. And then every time those torps come up, we're just going to keep pressure on that other side of the cap. The torps range is 11 kilometers, so they're going to reach the other side of that cap. Um, so we can literally keep things from charging in here. And that's what we want to do. And basically, again, you're not going to be engaging with the guns a whole lot on this thing. What you're going to be doing is spotting. You want ships behind you. You do not want to go off on your own in this thing. Uh, it's not going to It's not gonna bode well for you to run off on your own. So when you're, you know, if you're in a division, you want to make sure you're with your division mates. If you're solo, you want to make sure there's other ships with you, and if there's not, you need to go to where the other ships are. And basically what you're going to do is spot for them, and keep pressure on a lane, a cap, uh, whatever whatever they're kind of focusing on. You just want to keep pressure on that, keep things from charging them. Let them do their work, you know, get the spots for them. Here I know my division mate has a spot, so we're going to go ahead and smoke up. Um, 
again, every time these torps come up, I'm just going to want to send them down that way. And because we're able to sit in smoke here for a second, I'm going to try to engage some targets with the guns. Unfortunately, most of these targets are going to go behind these little islands here. Uh, so we're not going to get a whole lot of gunplay in this little piece right here. But I'm doing my job. Uh, the other DD, there's only one DD on each team in this game. The other DD went to Charlie. So I don't have to worry about a DD. Now, had the DD been on my cap in this game, uh, what I would be doing is sitting outside of his, my, my, uh, my, my detectability range. So he, he's not going to get a spot on me. And just literally zone torping and trying to chase him out of the cap with those torps. Um, torps are, the, like I said, the bread and butter of the ship. Um, so that's what you would be trying to do, is not, you know, not trying to knife fight him, not trying to get spots on him, just trying to, ch like, we have the RF, um, the perception, so you can tell where he's at, and you're just going to keep sending torps in his direction. Eventually, he's just going to see these torps keep coming and coming and coming, you know, and because you have that 11 uh, kilometer range, you don't have to be right on the cop. You know, if you know he's in the middle of the cop, you can kind of sit back off the cop so you're not getting spotted and just keep slinging torps at him. And eventually he's going to get the message. Worst that happens is he gets the cop and then he's not going to come charging in at you. He's going to go the other way. So then after he leaves, you're going to go in and just take the cap back. Um, again, you don't want to get left alone in the ship. You want to make sure you have support. So here, this Pensacola is actually going to charge us. Um, I started to come out of my smoke, and then, you know, and this is a mistake on my part, because Pensy does have a uh, sonar. I let him get a little too close. But he's not going to... I'm guessing he expended his sonar with all them torps coming at him already. Um, but our smoke's about to run off, so he is going to get a spot here, but he's pretty low health, so we're going to swap to the AP and just get him finished off here. Good night, Pansy. Goodbye. Now, we are going to drop spot. Um, unfortunately, when we come around here, though, his plane is going to spot us for, like, a split second. That's the plane that has me spotted right now. And this other ship is going to... Like, he's, he's kind of already been tracking where I'm going, so yeah. Gets a little shot off on me. Um... No biggie, because now they're not going to see me for a while. And again, we're just going to keep those torps going down these lanes. Um, what I'm thinking right now here is, you know, we need we need to go get another cap. Um, so I'm kind of heading towards Bravo. Going to take a shot on this Kirov. Um, hoping to kind of catch him on this corner. I know he's out running my torps. Um, I can see, you know, they're almost in Bravo. But I'm kind of hoping maybe he'll slow up or he'll turn in or turn out. Um, the torps will end up catching him. Won't be the case, but that's what I was thinking with those. Now, again, I was going to head to Bravo, but all of a sudden now there's no spots, is there? I I've gone behind an island and all the spots have dropped. So knowing that I I'm the spots for this whole side, the whole team basically at this point, I'm going to come back around and pick those spots back up. Again, the two things that this ship is going to excel at is spotting and zone torping. And that's it. You don't want to be knife fighting. You don't want to be chasing DDs. Literally, to be effective in this ship, that's what you're going to do. Is just basically be a spot and just keep pumping torps. Pumping torps. Pumping torps. And that's, that's really going to be the play style for the ship. Um, it does take a little more skill. It does take a little more patience. It, it's not going to be, you know, a kamikaze. It's not going to be, uh, you know, a kid. It's it, it, you're, you're not going to be, you know, a gunboat. You're not going to be, you know, running right up on things and, and dev striking them with torps. That's just not the way this boat's going to work. Um, I tried a lot of different builds on this. You know, I probably said I was going to do this video, I think, about two or three months ago, and it just took me absolutely forever to find what works with this ship, and this is what works. Um, this ship can be very effective if you are patient and you understand the ship. 
you don't have good concealment, you can't just be, you know, running up on things, and if you get spotted, you can't defend yourself, you know, you can't defend yourself from a carrier, you can't defend yourself from a DD, so getting spotted in this thing is really, really bad, which is why I don't want to run the rolling smoke, I want to have smoke that is going to last, um, because that is the only time I'm going to get to engage my guns, and then also because tier 5 is a carrier tier, you're going to see a lot of carriers. Um, and the best way to defend yourself from those carriers is going to be that smoke. Um, unless, you know, you're, you're again, you, you want to be with other ships, you want to have support behind you, and if you have a nice little AA umbrella behind you, you have some, you know, American cruisers and battleships behind you, then go ahead and use that. Um, but otherwise, you're going to have to smoke up and, and protect yourself. And that's probably going to be the biggest thing in the ship, is staying out of range where people can spot you, and just using the range on those torps. Um, they don't have the most speed, but again, they have very low detectability, so they don't see them to the last second. And then just because of the reload, you can see, like, my, my torps aren't even gone yet, and I'm, I'm sending out another rack, and we're already halfway through the reload. So you can just keep pumping torps through gaps, down lanes, into caps, and that's what this thing is going to be good at. And uh, we're going to finish this game with 80k damage. Um, another thing that is good about those torps is they seem to have a really high flood chance, which is kind of beautiful. Um, if you're looking for a liquidator medal, which a lot of people need to complete this game, this ship with this playstyle, you have a good chance to get it. Um, you know, it's going to take a little bit of luck and a little bit of RNG because you're going to have to hit somebody, you know, that has fairly, fairly good health and then hope they die from those. Um... But the fact that you're playing with other ships, and you're using ships to support you... You know, you're probably gonna have some HE spammers that are gonna be catching people on fire, and they're gonna DC. So when you do catch those floods, um... You have a good chance at that liquidator. Um, so this is, this is a good ship if you need that liquidator for... For game completion, again, it's gonna be a very different playstyle, and you're gonna have to be patient with it. Um... You know, how many torps have I missed, but even though I'm missing these torps, it is keeping pressure on them. They don't want to come in this cap, you know, like, look at his torps just constantly going down through those gaps. So they don't want to come up in here, they don't want to try it. Now, on this set I just sent out, uh, we actually are going to catch this Koenig and get a flood on him, and that's going to be the end of him. I don't know that yet, but... It's gonna happen. And this is really... Out of everything I tried, I tried gun builds, I tried, you know, a YOLO, Emilio type build on it. None of that really worked. I had some mediocre kind of games. Um, but once I went to this playstyle, like, immediately. Immediately just able to hit a big game, especially with that the flood chances. Two floods off two torps. Like, how beautiful is that? <laughs> um, and then you'll see when we hit this Arizona, floods. It's, like I said, if you need a liquidator for game completion, this is a good ship and this is a good playstyle. I would recommend Division, um, just so you know you have somebody that's supporting you and you can kind of work with them. Like, if they have spots, you can go ahead and smoke up through your guns a little bit. Um, whereas solo, you know, you're not going to really know when somebody has spots. Or you're not going to know, oh, I can smoke up now. And, and that's just going to kind of limit the gunplay. Uh, so there we go. Koenig just died from the flood. So now, we are looking at this Arizona, and we're looking at this Bravo Cup. Um, luckily, at this point, everything has kind of died off. Uh, we are going to catch this Arizona, and we're going to get some floods on him, and we're going to get a whole bunch of damage. And that's the thing with this, like, Torps are long range, they have a good flood chance, so... Just doing this right here, not engaging with your gun, is not... You know, you don't want to chase DDs. Again, you want to use your torps to chase them away from your ships and let your ships work. Let your let your cruisers and your BBs work without being pressured by, you know, a Fubuki or 
whoever else. Um, you're basically, like, like, you see this, this one little area where me and my division mate are at. Nobody wants to come in there. Nobody wants to come in there. They're, they're, you know, there's torps just coming out constantly that have long range. And they don't see till the last second. Uh, especially BBs. BBs are not going to like those torps because they really don't get a chance to avoid them. You know, by the time they pop up, it's too late. You can't get out of the way. Uh, so we're going to go ahead, you know, we're, we're up on points, we're up on ships, but we're going to go ahead and stop their points on this Bravo cap and start turning this cap just in case. You never know, you know, they might delete two of our, our cruisers real quick or something to that effect, or, you know, a cruiser and a BB. So we want to hop in here, um, get the point stopped that New Mexico is done for. I send torps, but it ain't going to matter. <laughs> um... So now we're going to come back on this Arizona. Um, at this point, the game's in the bag, so I'm just going to smoke up and just start harassing him with the guns just for the fun of it, just because I didn't get to really use the guns the whole game. And it's not going to be something, again, you know, if you get into a fight with a DD, that first salvo, you're going to hit him hard, but then it's 10 seconds before you have another salvo, and in that 10 seconds, they're going to tear you up. And if you have HP left, it's not going to be a whole lot after that. So you really just don't want to be gunfighting. You don't want to be engaging in gunplay unless you can do this. If you can get in smoke and somebody's got spots, then you can go ahead and have some fun with the guns. But that is going to be the playstyle for this ship. If you want to be successful with this ship, this, this is what it's going to be. Out of everything I tried, this, this 80k damage. Um barely used the guns, that was all torp damage, and all long range torp damage. Um, so yeah, that's going to be the most effective play style. And then, you know, you're looking at the results. Top of the team, two kills, like, that's beautiful. Um, so yeah, off meta series, that's the Leone. Uh, and that's going to be kind of the way to play this thing. Definitely a higher skill ship. So. Thank you, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Have a good day, bye.